Which instrument for what purpose? Differences between air and motor driven instruments. Different rotary instruments are used depending on the particular application. The optimal speed for the application, as described by the rotary instrument manufacturer, can be achieved by the different straight and contra angle handpieces and turbine handpieces. At this operating speed, the removal rate of the instrument is at its highest, while simultaneously generating the lowest possible level of frictional heat. This is gentle for both the tooth and the rotary instrument. The speed of the different instruments here ranges from 1500 RPM for cavity excavation to 200,000 RPM for preparations. Depending on which drive possibilities are available to a dental unit, Different possibilities are available to the user for achieving these speeds. At a basic level, we can differentiate between air-driven and electric-driven transmission instruments. Compressed air is used to drive dental turbine handpieces and air motors, which can then power green and blue straight and contra-angle handpieces. Red contra-angle handpieces operate faster than the drive speed. This means that the operating speed of the rotary instrument is higher than the motor speed. Blue, straight and contra-angle handpieces transfer the motor speed one to one. And green contra-angle handpieces operate slower than the motor speed. This means that the operating speed is lower than the drive speed. Only the straight and contra-angle handpieces can be used with electric-driven motors. But this includes red high-speed contra-angle handpieces which can be used as an alternative to turbine handpieces. This makes it happen to cover all speed ranges needed for treatments with both drive systems. In any case, in use there are certain differences which could have a major influence on the purchasing decision. Air-driven dental turbines are more lightweight than red contra-angle handpieces, need no additional motor or control and require less investment. As these turbine handpieces are only driven by a small rotor, their power is limited and seriously dependent on the contact pressure. Setting the speed is generally not possible, and the high frequency operating noise is unpleasant for many users and patients. In comparison, high speed contra angle handpieces can be adjusted within a speed range of approximately 10,000 to 200,000 RPM. They always have enough power and their operating noise is at least less unpleasant. These contra-angle handpieces must be powered with an electric motor. The entire system is therefore heavier and more costly than an air-driven system. For operating rotary instruments in lower speed ranges, green or blue, straight and contra-angle handpieces are used, which can be powered with air or electric motors as desired. With air motors, like turbine handpieces, a rotor is made to move using compressed air, and this generates the required rotational movement. This technology is very simple, robust, and good value. However, the speed range is only roughly adjustable, with a range of only 5,000 to 25,000 RPM. Dental electric motors allow, depending on the control system, minimum speeds from 300 RPM and maximum speeds of up to 40,000 RPM. Less straight and contra-angle handpieces are therefore necessary to cover all speed ranges required. The required speed can be set exactly, and the electric motor always provides the power required for the requested application. In comparison to air-driven systems, electric motors, including the control system required, are most costly. Turbine handpieces and straight and contra-angle handpieces are precision instruments, which have to resist extreme pressures, not only during handling, but also through the hygiene and maintenance process required. Inside these instruments, there are high-precision ball bearings, gears, fiber optics and bulbs, electronics, air and water filters, and seals, which can only work properly if they are cleaned and maintained correctly and regularly. Insufficient lubrication also leads to a faster wear of the rotating parts. Always ensure that the manufacturer provides equipment for the hygienic and maintenance preparation of transmission instruments when deciding on a system. 
This increases both your safety when using the transmission instruments as well as their service life considerably. W and H. People have priority.